What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. EA have released another SBC. It's another high-end SBC and it's another surprising SBC. Um, I, I thought, as I said in yesterday's video, that I had the leaks for, um, for the headliners stuff and, and for the specific headliner stuff, I have got the leaks. But they're releasing stuff every day right now that they're... Oh my god, that there is no leaks for. So they've given us obviously a Dharma Triore. David Luiz was was not there. There's nothing new in that regard. They've given a daily SBC that offers a rare players pack, albeit untradeable. How difficult is this gonna be to uh, complete? A 75 rated squad with six players that are rare, 85 chemistry, two from the same league, and six from the same nation. So that is an easy one. That is a good one. Fair play. We're going to do that on this one, even though it's untradeable. And then they've given a player moments, Leroy Sané. Now, the first concern is that there's four segments for this. Um, three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Now, wasn't he three-star, three-star? Have they given him a skill move upgrade as well? I know they did yesterday with Costa. No, so four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot is just him right now. Um, but they have given him a monster boost in a few areas eight shooting eight passing nine physical four pace up to 99 pace uh six dribbling and six defending i'm excited to see his in games that is a very very good card now 99 pace not really ea i don't know if you maybe you just need to go back to you know just 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 retake math nothing else you know it's fine just to get an understanding of how, you know, weighting and balance works. Um, positioning, finishing, great. Shot power, great. Really important this year. Long shots, very good. Volleys and penalties, largely irrelevant. His vision, crossing, free kick accuracy, short passing and curve are outstanding. His long passing is a bit low, but he's a winger slash attacker. So that's always going to be good. Reactions and composure are good. I think a sniper chem style is going to be the one for him, or a dead eye, or a maestro, depending on how you want to play. And we'll go and have a look at his uh, stats on Fubbin in a second. Stamina is really nice and good at 88, and his strength is uh, up there at 79. Um, so let's have a look, guys, real quick at uh, his card here um, before we go and have a look at what he's going to cost us. Now, as I say, I think with regards to skill moves four star skill moves three star weaver i don't like that combination you guys know that all too well by now uh the first chem style that i would look at as a sniper because it gives that perfect boost to shooting 99 finishing there 97 positioning great shot power and it boosts dribbling massively uh, which gives him 90 composure 91 reactions and then outstanding dribbling aside from that for a guy who's six foot it takes him up to a 95 left wing a 94 center forward a 94 striker and just generally speaking a brilliant card i would also look at dead eye maxima maximizes that passing fantastically literally maxes out that shooting and boosts his long shots to a nice nice area but it leaves his balance reactions and composure as what we would consider like tier one not ultimate tier but tier one still very very good just not the levels of like the eden hazard um player moments cards the messy player of the month or messy in general the team of the year cards and so on and so forth um and then the other one that I would look at would be a Maestro, which looks to be the best because it gives a well-rounded boost everywhere apart from finishing. But 89 finishing is still very good. And then we still have that little issue with the balance and composure. I think for me personally, depending on where you play him, you know, if you play him out on the wing, I think a Maestro is ideal. 99 pace, 96 dribbling, 93 shooting, 92 passing, very nice. Um, and it does take him up to like a 95.2 winger a 95 rate uh, cam, a 95.3 left forward, right forward. So as an outside cam, you know, cutting on that left foot or does he have outside the foot shot trait? Have a look at his traits. Power free kick and flare. So he doesn't. So he doesn't have any traits that are super beneficial. Um, but generally speaking, I, th I think the card is brilliant. And, and you've got some options there. Some people might put an engine on, you know, boost that, uh, boost that balance up by 10, get that maximum pace and then get that passing up or what is it an artist that does something very similar yeah balance only by five with the artist so i think an engine is probably a little bit better um even though you're not getting as many stats well it's actually only one stat boost different um but that that makes him a, an extremely good card again um so i think in general this is a quality card depending heavily depending on the price point and the reason why i say that is because three star four star 
is not good enough to spend four or five hundred thousand coins on. So first of all, we've got an 84 rated squad, which offers a prime election players pack with a team of the week. We've then got an 85 rated squad, which offers a rare mixed players pack with a city player and 70 chemistry. We've then got an 86 rated squad for a rare election players pack and an 87 rated squad for a mega pack with 60 chemistry. That is really expensive. That honest, that is going to come in at like the six, seven hundred thousand coin mark. I don't think that's worth it in the slightest. Um, if we look at Costa, he is an eighty-four rated squad with two informs, and that's eighty k. Uh, so let's let's even assign seventy k to to the Germany squads. Um, if we look at Lala, he's an eighty-five and an eighty-six, um, and so that's. What did we say? 70k for that, 120 for the 85, that's 190. 150 for the 86, that's 290, that's like 350. So with the 87 rated squad, that's going to be at least 150k. Does Werner have an 87 rated squad? Um, no, 86 is. And that 86 is 150k. This is going to be at least or, or around 500,000 coins. I don't know if I'd pay that many coins for a card that has three star skill moves. Um... For a winger that has three stars, sorry, three star weak foot. Um, the four star skill moves is is great, obviously, but yeah, three star weak foot. That's a tricky one. I, I I like. I just I don't know how much I would pay for that. You know, this year you don't see him in people's teams as like a standard gold card because there's just so many out there that are better. And it's one of those ones where I think if I had five hundred thousand coins available or five hundred thousand coins in assets. I first of all would probably like to put it towards Eden Hazard instead of Leroy Sané. Interesting though, another good thing about this Leroy Sané is that he's there forever. That's a, that changes things a little bit. Eden Hazard is now up to 1.7 million coins as well. I guess the price point of him has flown up. He, he was down at like 1.3 when he first came out. He's up to 1.7 now. Um, the fact that Sané is there forever means that you can work on him from untradeable rewards from rivals over the course of a few weeks uh, rather than just going out of your way and like smashing in now but in terms of wingers like Eden Hazard's inform card is 350k as a tradable option uh, you can get Robert Pires prime icon for 380k um, you can get Pavel Nedved 91 which is a great card for, for 800 well I suppose it's a little bit higher than the 500 um, let's have a look at the uh, the other the other wingers that you can get for 500k or less. Mark Overmars, 88, 400k. Hyungmin Son's left mid in form. Now, now th this is where this is where and why I think this Leroy Sané is overpriced. Even though he's there forever, this is why I think he's overpriced because he's going to cost more than this Son card costs. Now, this Son card has one less shooting, four less dribbling, a lot less pace, uh, and a, and a little bit less passing, but with that Maestro Chem style, it's very similar and he's tradable and he has five star weak foot instead of a three star weak foot. So, uh, you know, I just, I think a card like this is somewhere that I would much rather put my coins into just because of those, those little options there, you know, like the fact that you get with him the finesse shot trait as well, which means his curve is actually 99 when he shoots rather than 85. Uh, I, I personally would say you know, left mid from the Premier League, just go and get informs on. Uh, you know, maybe you have loads of untradeables, so you can't get an informs on, you can't purchase him, uh, especially on Xbox down at 360, PlayStation at 430. That that, that for me is, it, you know, this Leroy Sané needed to be priced at about 300, 250K as a way to say, yeah, okay, he's, he's hands down worth it. At 500K, you've really got to be desperate to have him in your squad or you've got to have your club bursting at the seams with regards to untradeable, um, like, cannon fodder, essentially, untradeable SBC cards, right? Um, so we're going to do the Headliners Challenge, the Rare Players Pack, which uh, which I like quite a lot. Six rares, same nation, max six, same league, max two. So what you're going to want to do here is just go and get yourself one specific nation uh, for your defense and goalkeeper. Let's choose Germany, and then just try and, f you know, obviously take away... There you go, Turkish League, Karius works for us. Three German centre-backs. Uh, we'll go with uh, Howard Dez. We can go with Kere. We can go with Stark. Uh, we'll take a, uh, a left wing-back. I don't know if I actually have a left wing-back. Like Schultz can work as well. And then a right wing-back, but we could just go with a right-back. It's not a uh, not a problem if it's there's no... Yeah, so Da Costa doesn't work. 
Um, so we'll go for the right back there. All right, let's put Wieser in. And then let's go and get rid of uh, Stark for another German centre-back. So we could take Schwab there. Um, so straight away, that's three of our six rares uh, and, and a great setup for chemistry, obviously. Um, and then we can just go for another nation for the wingers and midfielders. So instead of Germany, we'll go for France. because There's obviously plenty of those guys. Now we do need a few rares. Uh, so we'll put Awar in there. And uh, we've already got French League centre-back now as well. So we can't use him again. Um, so we'll use... There you go. We can use Mete in there. And then we can use a Syria left wing. Uh, I don't think... Oh, I don't want to use Martial. Let's go for... We only need like... What is it? 85 chemistry? This really is a nice and cheap one. Um, let's go for Valbuena. I am going to need one more rare player, I think. So we'll take... Um, let's take Gamero in there as well. And then on the right-hand side of things... Let's see where we're at with everything. So I've already got the rating. Uh, I'm five chem points off. So just, I think just a French player here would be okay. Um, I don't need a rare either. I can use a common. And Alessandrini, it wouldn't surprise me if Alessandrini went massively up in price right now uh, today just because of this SBC. I mean, he's already showing at 1.3. Keep in mind, guys, he's, he's selling for under 2,000 coins at the time of making this video at like 11 minutes past six. By the time this video goes live... I would be very surprised if he's not 4 or 5k. Um, so if you've got an Alessandrini on your club, it might be worth worth to sell him. But a rare players pack uh, for that SBC is pretty fantastic. Yes, it's untradeable, um, but I still think it's uh, pretty good. And I, I do want to see, hopefully, it's uh, it's there now, the price for Sané. It's not. Um, so it's only missing one segment, but the 87 rated squad coming in at 300k. That's That's just wrong. Um, but we've got a rare players pack for our SBC, uh, our daily SBC. Let's see if we're going to get any luck. We have got a board. That's a good start. We haven't got a walkout. So, hey, the trade-off is it's worth it. You know, if, if you hit something nice, brilliant. If you don't, too bad. I'm, I should switch these around and take the coins for them. Can't be bothered. Uh, and then let's see what promo packs we've got. We've got some 50k packs in there as well. So we'll open a couple of these tradable ones. Um, just whilst we wait for the price of Moments Sane to come on in. It's taking it's taking its fair time. Um, I, I generally like the card, as I say. I, I think it's uh I, I think the card is a good card. I just I just can't personally justify saying to you guys, yes, yeah, spend what what I think is gonna be about five hundred thousand coins. But as I say, the, the one benefit that we get with this Sane card is that he's there for the rest of the game cycle. So he and Hazard now are there. And I think they're doing that as a way to be like almost replacing icons. Now, of course, it's not an icon. It doesn't link like an icon. It's better than some icons. It's worse than others. Um, but ultimately, I think, yeah, it's, it's one of those situations where it's like, for me personally, on my road to glory, I probably won't go for this card until team of the season. Uh, and the reason why I say team of the season is because during team of the season, an SBC that costs 500k now will be will cost like 150k in team of the season, right? Because the you know right now an 89 rated card is like what 50k, 60k, something like that. Whereas during team of the season, a 90 rated card you'll be able to pick up for like 18k, 20k, and it will just like it changes the dynamics of SBCs dramatically. I'm not saying to you guys, hey, you should wait till team of the season to get this card. If you want it, get it, right? Like it it, it looks like it would play fantastic, you know. It, other than the fact that it has three star weak foot, um, which I've got, you know, funnily enough, I have more enjoyment with a couple of two-star weak foot players than I do with a three-star weak foot player. Angel Di Maria, I really enjoy. Uh, I find that card to be very nice. Uh, and um, Mesut Ozil's Scream card I've thoroughly enjoyed as well. And they both have two-star weak foots. Uh, ZH, the moments player moments ZH card, which is also two-star weak foot, I enjoy him a lot. And what those three cards have in common, or at the very least ZH and uh, Di Maria, is that they have outside the weak outside the foot shot trait so it just it allows you to shoot as if it was a five star weak foot rather than this, as if it was a two star weak foot um i don't think Ozil has that so he he gets hampered with that a little bit when i play with players with three star weak foot when they don't have that trait for example moments bernardo silva his card looks like it should be brilliant I just can't get on with it i like even though he's got four star skill and with three star weak foot I, I just have no enjoyment out of it is that an icon that might be an icon. No, it's not. It's Kante, though. Hey, very nice indeed. Uh, that the the flares were so so bright there. We end up getting Kante out of one of those packs. That's really 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 nice. 
Um, nice little 89 rate card there. We had to sell him on for a few hundred thousand coins and uh, load up this account quite nicely. Um, but yeah, so I I don't like the four star, three star split. I would rather a four star, two star with a specific trait than a four star, three star. Uh, we do get an inform there. Um, so it doesn't seem like the Leroy Sané... Oh, there you go. The price is in. Oh, that's a good pack. Um, the price is in at 600,000 coins. As per usual, it will probably settle down a little bit lower. But we are looking at between 500 and 600,000 coins for this Leroy Sané card. I'll be honest with you guys. I think that's massively overpriced. Yes, it's a good card. Yes, he's got 99 pace. Yes, he's a Premier League card, and so he'll probably slot into a lot of people's teams. But what we'll do after we open this pack here is I want to go and compare that Sané to the Felipe Anderson that is essentially not a free card, but a card where you don't have to spend money, I suppose, um, where you can spend your time instead. So we'll go for... Oh, Ed and Jekko there. Uh, so Anderson and... Who is it? Sané. Um... So, in comparison, guys, as we get one of the deadest packs in the history of packs right there. Um, Jesus. Oh, that's actually all right. There's a fair few 83s in there. As far as 50k packs go, I suppose it's not bad. Um, just, just before we leave here today, guys, let's have a look at this. So, Leroy Sané, faster. One more dribbling, a bit more physical. But what Felipe Anderson has, obviously, is four-star, four-star, which is, uh, you know, a, a big difference. And then let's say we do put a Maestro on the pair of them because that is what I would probably go with as far as a chem style goes. They are relatively similar cards. Um, Anderson's like... Sorry, Anderson's not quite as good in most most areas, but he's nothing. You, you earn him from playing the game versus Sané at over 600k currently, probably at, down between 5 and 600k. I, 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 I personally just can't justify that you know when you look at that much like that much expense and then trossard another card uh let's give him a maestro too another card that is up there as another quality quality player that will eventually get upgraded as well where i'm, I'm just like how how can ea justify this sort of price with these players when these other players are around and when you look at ratings per position Tr trossard is a little bit behind with an upgrade due felipe anderson is uh a mine a bit behind as well and then Sané he does have he does have great stats but four star four star would take over the stat boost any day of the week personally um so that's where I'm at with those those cards guys it is a great card I'm sure he'll be a lot of fun it will just make you very obvious and one-dimensional with how you have to play with him but let me know what you guys think personally for me it's, it's a great card that's just a bit overpriced love the fact that it's there for the whole year they upgraded Kazola and Diego Costa skill moves. What harm would it have been to give him five star skill moves or a four star weak foot to make him more usable? I don't know. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.